my current home network setup. To my left, I got my modem. It's a cable modem. To in the middle, I have my wireless router, and then to the right, I got my switch. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna switch the guy in the middle. I'm tired of this wireless router. I'm gonna build my own router, and then use this guy as an access point. So let's take a quick look at my new um, router. Uh, let's start off with the motherboard. The motherboard that I'm using is the DQ77KB, and I will list the um, the parts in the description. The reason why this motherboard is so popular is because it's small, it has small factor, and it has uh, two NICs built in and the Intel. Also, it's uh, low power, so I could use an old Dell power supply. This one is from my old laptop. You just hook it up there, and it will work. So you don't need a bulky power supply anywhere. Uh, if you can see, there's only about three parts in this setup. We have my motherboard. Then I have my processor. The processor I'm using is the G630. It's also low power, dual core. It's probably overkill. Um, then I have my RAM. I got two sticks of two gigabytes each, making a total of four gigabytes RAM. It's good enough. And I have a hard drive. It's a uh, WD Blue, and it's only about 80 gigabytes. You don't, you don't need, you don't even need that much. Uh, the platform that I'm running is PF Sense, and um, if you notice. There's my installation disk that I downloaded and put in a USB drive. I can download it 2.2.4 and it's working fine now. Um, I have it here in my chassis just in case someday uh, if anything fails I could go ahead and uh, reinstall PFSense back in my system. Alright, so this is the final report. You see you can see you got the router in the back, modem, switch, and now I turn that to an AP.